My name is Milind Halapet. I head the Global Cloud Practice at Wipro Technologies. And today the topic that I'm going to talk about is what should enterprises do to accelerate their cloud journey by adopting container journeys. The enterprises are accelerating their journey towards digital transformation and it's really accelerated in the last year or so. When we look at the statistics, uh, overall the container application market is expected to grow at a rate of 30% the next five years. We are seeing three broad customer segments. The first segment is where these are the traditional organizations and uh, they have been running COTS applications, custom applications. Some of these uh, have been running, uh, you know, old SAP, Oracle, uh, you know, .NET, Java kind of applications. There is a tremendous opportunity to sort of containerize those applications, expose them through APIs, and uh, reimagine the business processes and drive those business outcomes. We are currently working with one of the leaders in the beauty and healthcare industry. This organization is trying to revamp the supply and demand planning, the way the supply chain is set up, and how customers are engaging uh, with the products and how they are making their purchases. So it's a classic example of a traditional organization who is trying to reimagine the business processes uh, and connect with the new age customers in a digital fashion. The second one is where organizations are traditional architectures, but they are on the runway right now to renovate their application landscapes, get into microservices. For example, when we look at the insurance industry, the insurance premiums are calculated during a particular time period. So can we just make that module elastic and agile and provide the elasticity? So these are the kinds of uh, options that are present to the enterprises and most of them are renovating and trying to make their processes agile and nimble. So the first recommendation would be really understand the motivation of a business process and application. What do we want to do with this? Is scalability the key challenge? What are the growth drivers for an application? And what happens if there is a downtime for a particular module within an application? So that really is the first consideration to see uh, how much of an application needs to be converted into microservices. The second part is really to look at the foundational elements uh, in this new world of agile development. DevOps-led deployment models uh, is very common. So having the right tooling, the processes, creating the operating model with the right configuration of the teams, the dev teams, the security team and ops team, all these teams construct and the skills need to come together under a common operating model. And the third one really is, uh, if you look at the overall governance, how do we govern uh, this kind of a operating model? In the old world, we had all these processes, deployment processes, which used to go in a very sequential approval-based models. It used to take about uh, four months uh, to put a major request into production. But today, when we follow the agile processes and when uh, these operational processes are rewired and built in into the DevOps CI CD pipeline, now we can release these features into production in a matter of days. The march toward digital adoption is here to stay and let's accelerate the momentum towards the container journey and make sure that we drive the outcomes that the enterprises need.